What's up guys, I'm on my lunch break, but I wanna do a quick video before I return back to work. But I just wanted to let you know, the 10 year treasury yields are spiking and that's a bad sign. The news likes to spin it like, oh, people are getting out of safe haven assets uh, and they're taking more risk. And no, that doesn't seem like that's the case because the stock markets are falling when that happens. And I'll, I don't see a lot of the tech stocks rallying during that period of time. So what it seems to be is that people are getting out of the dollar. They're afraid of inflation. Now, even though the Fed says inflation expectations and all that are kind of moderated and they don't see any inflation in consumer products or whatever, we all know there's inflation. But the thing is, the meters don't have to register the inflation. All you need is a quick surge of selling of the dollar and you'll get massive inflation. So the treasuries are kind of like a canary in a coal mine in that regard. They're giving us an advance notice that that's a potential that could happen. And even though we are in a deflationary, I agree with a lot of the deflationists, we're in a deflationary economy where things are kind of shrinking because the Democrats shut down everything during COVID and they tax everyone and they regulate all businesses. Businesses can't expand when they do that and jobs can't be created when that happens. The only jobs that can be created are in government and the government doesn't produce anything. It just, uh, well, it produces laws and regulations to try to control everybody. Uh, but that's, that's not real production in terms of, I can't eat laws. Uh, I can't run my vehicle on laws. In fact, they, you can't make a vehicle based on laws. So the real reality of the situation is we're not producing anything anymore. So the economy is shrinking and they like to, the globalists like to push globalism. So all of our production goes overseas to other countries where, you know, they use slave labor. Democrats are always talking about being racist, but they do, they do these things that hurt minorities. Who does it hurt when your dollar doesn't buy the groceries that it's supposed to buy. Meaning the price of the groceries has gone up because the value of the dollar you use to buy them has gone in the toilet. Does that hurt rich people? It can, unless the rich people have ways of protecting themselves through assets, which they do. Uh, poor people don't, they don't own assets. They can't afford the assets. Who can afford a house these days? Who can afford gold? Who can afford one Bitcoin? Most people can't. And so the poor people are always the ones that suffer. Gun control, they like to say gun control is for the safety of the inner cities. Who does it really hurt? Because gun control doesn't take guns away from people. It takes guns away from poor people, but it doesn't take guns away from rich people because the rich people are able to afford the taxes and the penalties of owning those guns. And so they just pay the, they pay the government off to let them own the guns. The poor people can't afford to pay those things. So the guns get taken from them or they get incarcerated. and. Democrats are all about this. Think, 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 people. Stop blaming Republicans. Stop blaming Trump. Stop blaming conservatives. You really need to think for once and you'll see where the problems are if you look and you think and understand what the problems are. Uh, and therefore, especially with Joe Biden in, everybody's bragging that we got Trump out. We got Trump out. Now we got an imbecile. I shouldn't say an imbecile because he's pretty shrewd to be in politics all the years. More years than I've been alive. Take that into consideration. Uh, he's pretty shrewd to be in politics that long. And uh, right now he's got dementia. It's freaking obvious to anybody who knows anything. You don't need a doctor to diagnose the dementia that this man has. And the Democrats are pushing him in office. That's elder abuse. They're forcing this man with dementia to go into stressful situations and to be the leader of the free world at everybody else's expense. Meanwhile, the Democrats use that to seize power. Wake up, think, 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 people, think, think, think. That's what this is all about, think, think, think. Um, I think we might get a capitulation where people are gonna go to dollars, even though the dollar is selling off because it'll be forced. They're gonna see it in their stocks. They're gonna have to sell out of their stocks when they crash. They're gonna sell out of their bonds when they crash. They're gonna end up having to sell out of cryptocurrencies, I think, in the short term when everything crashes because they're gonna need cash. 
and the costs are going to go up because inflation because the cash value goes in the toilet so they need more 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 cash so the demand for cash is probably going to skyrocket in the next month or so uh, and then i believe cryptocurrencies are going to transition us to a whole new system so that's my thought of the day and my comment of the day uh, please hit that like button if you like it. Share it with people you you know can benefit from this information. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here and hit that bell notification. Smash it to make sure that you know every time I post something because I'm a regular at posting. I'm busy. I don't have time to be a YouTube uh, sensation all the time, but I do what I can to give information to people that I think benefits them. And it really doesn't gain me anything uh, monetarily unless you support the links below, which are my affiliate links. You don't have to. You can also donate. You don't have to. But I do appreciate all donations and any support I get from you guys. God bless you. Take care. Uh, make sure your bell notification says all so you know everything that I post. All right. Take care, y'all. Love you. Godspeed till my next video. Peace.